Republicans slam Sessions with ultimatum. They aren't playing around this time. For the last eight years of the Obama administration, the American public was forced to endure one epic disaster after another. The country has moved beyond that dismal era, thankfully, but there are still some loose ends that need to be tied up. There is a deep hunger in the public's mind for answers with regards to the 2016 election, Hillary Clinton, and James Comey. Special Counsel Robert Mueller is supposedly investigating the case, but it looks like no charges will be filed in that matter or the Uranium One scandal. Well, Representative Jim Jordan is having none of that. The Republican lawmaker represents Ohio's 4th District in the U.S. House of Representatives and is a member of the House Judiciary Committee and the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. He has some pretty tough questions he wants answered and is calling on Attorney General Jeff Sessions to take serious action. Pre-Fox News on July 27, 2017, uh, 20 House Republican members of the Judiciary Committee sent a letter to the Attorney General calling for a special counsel to get answers to the Clinton-Comey questions. On September 28, 2017, five House Republican members of the Judiciary Committee met with the Attorney General and Justice Department staff to inquire about the July letter. The Justice Department's response, silence. It's time for Jeff Sessions to name a special counsel and get answers for the American people. If not, he should step down. Here are a few of the many questions that Jordan wants investigated. Why, in 2016, did FBI Director Comey begin drafting an exoneration letter for Secretary Clinton, whom he called grossly negligent in an early draft of the letter before completing the investigation, before interviewing several witnesses, and before interviewing Secretary Clinton. Why, in 2016, one day before the Benghazi report was released and five days before Secretary Clinton was interviewed by the FBI, did Attorney General Lynch meet with former President Clinton on the tarmac in Phoenix? Why, in 2016, did the FBI pay for the Russian dossier? It's been reported that in addition to the Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Committee, paying Fusion GPS for the dossier, the FBI also reimbursed Christopher Steele author of the dossier. The American public deserves to have answers to these questions. Mr. Sessions, concerned citizens everywhere ask that you do your job and investigate these matters fully. Absolutely. What do you think of Representative Jim Jordan? I applaud him. But, you know, I mean, uh, it, it's very, very disturbing to see Sessions actually uh, avoiding this. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.